Welcome to CPCS Theory Test, 2022, UK. Question 1. What is the definition of, or how can a hazard be described? The correct answer is. A hazard is a setting where exists a risk to property, environment, health, or life. Question 2. What is the purpose of a risk assessment? The correct answer is. The purpose of a risk assessment is to identify and place control measures on hazards. Question 3. List six typical subject areas that should be covered in a site induction. The correct answer is. 1. First aid. 2. Escape routes. 3. Lifting operations. 4. Working at heights. 5. Site layout and welfare facilities. 6. Working in confined spaces. 7. Method statements. Question 4. What three duties of the Health and Safety at Work Act must employees follow? The correct answer is. 1. Protect themselves and other who may be affected by their acts or omissions. 2. Cooperate with the employer. 3. Avoid interference, intentionally or recklessly with anything provided for safety. Question 5. What does the Health and Safety at Work Act require employers to do with regards specifically to plant? The correct answer is. The employer must ensure the plant is safe and maintained. Question 6. A. What is the purpose of a method statement and B. What is required of the operator? The correct answer is. A. A method statement describes how the work will be done safely and efficiently. B. The operator must be compliant with the method statement. Question 7. Name four different types or level sanctions that can be applied to plant operators who do not comply with, or follow legislation and regulations. The correct answer is 1. Verbal warning. 2. Written warning. 3. Dismissal. 4. Prosecution. Question 8. Why the forklift operators are generally regarded as safety critical workers? The correct answer is. The forklift operators are considered safety critical workers because of the potential risk of an accident. They can cause harm to themselves or others if they do an unsafe act. Question 9. Name three ways in which an operator can minimize their impact upon the environment whilst using the machine. The correct answer is 1. Switch off engine while the machine is not in use. 2. Well maintained machine. 3. Do not overfill while refueling, clean up any spillage. 4. Dispose any waste correctly. 5. Plan the work prior to start to maximize work efficiency. Question 10. In what situation does a hard hat not need to be worn when operating a telehandler? The correct answer is. When the operator is in an enclosed cab or structure that meets the FOPS regulations. Question 11. The operator has to use a new type of telehandler that they are unfamiliar with. What do regulations, i.e. PUWER 98, and other guidance require the operator to have? The correct answer is sufficient information, instruction, and training on that type. Question 12. What are the possible outcomes if being prosecuted for not complying with legislation and regulations? The correct answer is case dismissal, fine, imprisonment. Question 13. How can a qualification or card benefit a plant operator? The correct answer is. The operator can prove his skills, have better prospects of employment and promotion. Question 14. Name three ways that a plant operator can contribute in ensuring repeat business with the client or main contractor. The correct answer is. 
1. Compliance with the method statements. 2. Cooperation with the workforce. 3. Safe working practices. Question 15. A. What is meant by the lifting or rated capacity of the telehandler and, B. Who determines it? The correct answer is. A. The maximum lifting capacity for a given load center. B. The manufacturer. Question 16. Where should the operator's manual be kept and why? The correct answer is. The operator's manual should be kept inside the machine in a place where the operator has easy access. Question 17. Forklift operations fall within the scope of the Lifting Operations and Lifting Equipment Regulations, LOLER, 1998. Name to requirement of the act with regards to lifting. The correct answer is. Preparing for work lifts must be properly planned and properly supervised. Question 18. What is the purpose of a roll or ROPS frame? The correct answer is. The purpose of ROPS cab or frame is to provide protection in the eventuality of a rollover with the machine. Question 19. What are the three actions or stages that a telehandler operator undertakes during pre-use inspections? The correct answer is. Carry out checks according to manufacturer's requirements, record when checks have been performed and report all defects immediately. For questions 20 and 21 the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. Question 20. Using the operator's manual, state the figure for the tire pressures. The correct answer is. As per the manual note, the page number of the manual must be quoted by the candidate verbally for the recording. Question 21. Using the operator's manual, state the cold starting procedure for the machine. The correct answer is. As per the manual, note, the page number of the manual must be quoted by the candidate verbally for the recording. Question 22. State the purpose of the check valve or valves located on the boom cylinder rams. The correct answer is. To prevent the boom lowering unintentionally when the engine stops or a pipe bursts. Question 23. State four checks that should be made to the forks. The correct answer is. The end stops are in place, lugs are secure, forks are crack free, have not exceeded wear limit, they are straight, latch pins are complete and functional. Question 24. If checking the oil level using a dipstick, why must gloves be worn? The correct answer is. Gloves must be worn to avoid oil contact with the skin which can cause skin problems. Question 25. Apart from the operator, who else may need to use the machine's operator's manual? The correct answer is Maintenance staff, supervisors, and transporter drivers. Question 26 What is the purpose of counterweight on the machine? The correct answer is To minimize the overturning effect of the load depending on boom height and reach. Question 27 As a lifting machine, the telehandler must be thoroughly examined. A. What is the purpose of the examination and B. Who would carry out the examination? The correct answer is. A. To ensure the forklift is free from structural defects and problems not part of the daily or weekly checks and B. By an authorized, competent person. Question 28. During work, the engine starts to overheat. Explain the danger if someone tries to remove the radiator or expansion tank cap. The correct answer is. Removing the radiator tank cap will cause the hot liquid inside to be released under pressure and could cause burns. Question 29. A. Name three purposes of the raised lugs on tires and B. What can happen to a telehandler if the lugs are severely worn? The correct answer is. A. 
provide traction or grip for moving, steering and braking in soft mud and B, can have a reduction of traction, steering and braking. Question 30. If the telehandler is being traveled or working on the public highway, including adjacent pavement and verges, the Road Traffic Act applies. A. What type of license and which classes should the operator hold and B. What is the minimum age allowed? The correct answer is UK or approved driving license car bearing class B and B. 18 years of age for machines between 3.5 and 7.5 tons and 21 years of age over 7.5 tons. Question 31. Name three conditions that the mirrors on the machine must be in. The correct answer is fitted, unbroken, clean and adjusted correctly. Question 32. Why must the seat belt be worn, even with the cab door closed? The correct answer is, in the event of a rollover, as is reasonably practical, keeps the main body of the operator within the confines of the operating seat which may minimize injury by not being flung around. Question 33. A. What is the minimum distance allowed near open trenches when traveling with a telehandler and B. Explain why. The correct answer is. A. The minimum distance is more than the depth of the trench and B, any less can cause a trench collapse. Question 34. What would happen if the steering mode of crab steer is selected and the steering wheel rotated clockwise? The correct answer is. The telehandler would travel sideways to the right but the operator remains facing forwards. Question 35. How is it possible that forklifts can still tip over? even when traveling on gentle gradients, are not overloaded and not being driven at excessive speed? The correct answer is a culmination of events by introducing extra factors such as turning uphill and at speed can cause overturning. Question 36. When working in a confined area or space, name three dangers that can be present. The correct answer is Fumes, noise, visibility, maneuvering room, overhead, and all proximity hazards. Question 37. Name six possible proximity hazards that may be encountered on site when traveling with a load. The correct answer is. Uneven terrain, holes, slopes or ramps, overhead obstructions, visibility, personnel, ground conditions. Question 38. What problems and hazards can soft ground cause to a loaded forklift? Traveling and maneuvering. The correct answer is. Sunk and stuck machine, tip over sideways. Question 39. An operator has to travel a telehandler on the public highway, for which the Road Traffic Act applies. List six requirements that must be followed. The correct answer is. The machine must be taxed, insured, tires must be free from damage and have sufficient tread, all fitted lights must work, forks must be removed, no load must be carried, operator hold the relevant license. Question 40. When working in a confined area or space, a. What danger can be present with regards to the counterweight of the machine, b. What is the recommended minimum distance and c. What measures must be implemented if the gap is less? The correct answer is A. The gap between the counterweight and a structure being reduced or contacted the object or structure when turning B. At least 600 mm and C. Ensure sufficient clearance or block off access routes. Question 41 Before traveling with a physically large load Name five factors that must be taken into account by the operator before moving. The correct answer is 1. If the forklift is capable and within limits, 2. If operation is allowed at that site, 3. If the travel route is clear of overhead and width hazards, 4. If the travel route ground is suitable, 5. 
if the forklift is configured correctly and the load stable, 6. If environmental conditions, wind, are suitable, 7. If sufficient help is available, 8. If all actions meet lift plan criteria. Question 42. On stabilizer equipped machines, what must be checked before the stabilizers are lowered? The correct answer is that the ground is firm to support the overall weight or packed accordingly. Question 43. A. What is meant by the load center, and B. Why must it be known for each lift? The correct answer is A. The point of balance of the load, and B. Determines whether the load can be lifted for a given height and reach by the machine. Question 44. If the load center of the load is longer, increased, than stipulated for the model of telehandler, what effect does it have on the lifting capacity of the machine? The correct answer is. Carrying capacity must be reduced. Question 45. Which part of the forklift is the load center usually measured from? The correct answer is. The heel of the forks. Question 46. Explain all visual checks that must be carried out on all types of quick hitch bucket attaching systems before use. The correct answer is. No visible damage to the coupler, attachment, hoses, and other components. All components available and fitted correctly. Any locking system active or in place. Locking pin, if used, in the correct hole. Other answers will depend on coupler type. Question 47. On a semi-automatic quick hitch bucket attaching system, A. What is the purpose of the safety pin? and b. What checks must be made to the pin before use? The correct answer is a. To prevent the latching system from unclasping the attachment, and b. If is in the correct place, in the fully locked position, secured by linchpin or clip. Other answers will depend on coupler type. Question 48. Name four factors to consider and know before picking up a load. The correct answer is 1. Load size, 2. Weight, 3. Condition and stability, 4. Load center, 5. Where to be transported, 6. Travel route condition, 7. Landing condition. Question 49. Before picking up a load, why should the forks be equally spaced or distanced on the carriage? The correct answer is to ensure the load is fully supported. Question 50. What is the main purpose of the rated capacity indicator, RCI, or load moment indicator? The correct answer is a device that provides the operator, within a specified tolerance, Warnings that the load is both approaching rated capacity and has exceeded the rated capacity. Question 51. If setting up to lift and move loads in a pedestrianized area, state three factors that need to be taken into account. The correct answer is. 1. Physical segregation of pedestrians from vehicle movement. 2. Noise. 3. Fumes. Question 52. A. What is the recommended minimum distance to be kept away from overhead power lines mounted on wooden pylons when setting up the machine, and B. Explain why a distance should be kept. The correct answer is. A. 9 meters plus the length of the boom and forks, and B. High voltage electricity can arc across large gaps in certain conditions. Question 53. Name two factors that determine the weight of a load. The correct answer is 1. Size 2. Density Question 54. Describe one physical method of checking that the attachment is fully secured to the coupler prior to work. The correct answer is 
rotate the implement throughout the full working range several times or place the implement lightly on the ground and try to unhook the coupler from the attachment through machine movement. Other methods may exist which can be accepted by the tester. Question 55. Give three reasons why it is important that a telehandler is not leaning sideways before attempting to lift or place a load. The correct answer is. 1. The forks may not enter cleanly, into a pallet. 2. Machine could tip. 3. Load could slide off. Question 56. When placing onto or lifting a load from a loading out tower, A. Why must the telehandler's handbrake be on and the transmission in neutral, and B. What would be the consequences if this was not done? The correct answer is. A. To ensure no unintentional movement of the machine, and B. Machine could move forward pushing load or tower away, cause instability of the machine, load could drop. Question 57. Give four reasons that may cause the telehandler to tip over sideways. The correct answer is. 1. Working tasks. 2. A soft ground, traveling along slopes, picking up loads at height whilst on uneven ground. 3. Traveling too fast on corners, severe uneven ground, soft tires, driving with loads at height. 4. Uneven load. Question 58. Give four reasons that may cause the machine to tip forwards. The correct answer is. 1. Too much reach for the load. 2. Load too heavy. 3. Not using stabilizers, if fitted. 4. Traveling up or down slopes. Question 59. Before loading an uncoupled trailer, what three precautions must be taken? The correct answer is. The trailer brakes are applied, the wheels are chalked, the loads are initially placed over the rear axle. Question 60. An operator has been asked to transport a load down a small section of the public highway, for which the Road Traffic Act applies. What effect does this have on forklift operations? The correct answer is. The load becomes carriage of goods, for which the telehandler can become a load carrying vehicle for which appropriate registration, taxing and licensing conditions apply. Question 61. Name four ways that wet weather can affect telehandler operations. The correct answer is. 1. Increase load density or weight. 2. Soften supporting ground. 3. Reduce visibility. 4. Reduce grip or traction. Question 62. Using the lifting capacity diagram Annex A, A, what is the maximum lifting capacity at maximum height, B, what is the lifting capacity with the boom angle at 45 degrees and a boom extension of 2.5 meters, and C, what is the furthest distance, measured from the front tires, available to place a 1.3 tons load at a height of 4 meters. The correct answer is. The annex will be provided by the tester at the test. Question 63. If placing a variety of loads onto a rigid, flatbed transporter, where should the heaviest loads be placed? The correct answer is. Over the rear axles. Question 64. How can high wind speeds affect telehandler operations? The correct answer is can create instability at high reaches and possibly shut down lifting operations. Question 65. What is the meaning of this hand signal, being demonstrated by the tester? The correct answer is. Lower slowly. Question 66. State the possible effect of lifting downhill on a slope. The correct answer is. Load center or center of gravity can increase causing possible instability. Question 67. After placing a load, who is responsible for ensuring the load is safe? 
The correct answer is the telehandler operator. Question 68. Before leaving the cab for a rest break, after parking and switching off the machine, what final action must be carried out? The correct answer is machine must be isolated, windows closed, door closed, and locked. Question 69. When parking the machine at the end of the shift, name three places where the machine should not be parked. The correct answer is 1. Do not park in front of entrances or exits. 2. Do not park on soft ground. 3. Do not park on pedestrian routes. 4. Do not park on slopes. 5. Do not park close to trenches or stockpiles. Question 70. The operator has been asked to drive the machine onto a transporter or trailer. A. Who is responsible for the loading operations, and B. State four actions to be considered by the operator before loading commences. The correct answer is A. The transporter driver is responsible for the loading operation. B. 1. A level area with sufficient room to maneuver should be selected. 2. Check for overhead obstructions. 3. The machine should be clean. 4. The transporter should be suitable and in good condition. 5. The ramps should be adjusted to fit the machine. 6. The operator's manual should be consulted to find the loading procedure. 7. The area should be clear of people and other plant. Question 71. If the operator has loaded the machine onto a transporter or trailer on behalf of a driver, what checks must be carried out before they leave the cab? The correct answer is. The machine and components boom and forks are in the agreed position, hydraulic operated components grounded and pressure removed, cab door fully shut, windows shut. Question 72. Why should the telehandler be refueled at the end of the day? The correct answer is. To minimize condensation build up in the fuel system. Please don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your test.